Hi, I'm Kevin. This is YQ. I feel like I have to wait for the music to stop playing <laughs> before I get into it. And my head's like... Argh. Why should he silence your welds? Well, because you bought from those other guys. The ones with no engineers and stuff. Really, why Q has the best silencer welds? We test our welds. How do we do that? We have engineers develop processes. Apparatuses, I. Apparati, apparatuses. Procedures, testing protocols. How it needs to be tested, why it needs to be tested, what we're trying to achieve. Back at Advanced Armament, my old company, we pioneered the circumferential automated welding that everyone uses today. We used to TIG weld, now we laser weld. So our engineers developed the tension test. Ours hold at 22,000 pounds of force. Our welds are so strong, you can break them out before the welds now. James, roll that clip. Oh, Jesus! Yeah. So what'd you see happen there? We designed and made this testing apparatus. So we looked at all the ways to test them like destructive testing of the silencers to ensure that we constantly have the highest strength and durability and consistency of the welds. So what do we do? We created a pull test, a tension test, that will tear welds apart if they're not 100% perfect. And what you just saw was on a cherry bomb, a 17-4 heat-treated stainless steel mount. Rip the threads off of it and the welds are still intact and the silencer's still fine. That was so loud, everyone in the building freaked out, thought something blew up. Something did blow up. Yeah, something did blow up. The testing fixture in the cherry bomb. This is like the constant struggle for us, wanting to be the highest quality company in the world. You not, you not only have to come up with a concept, but a way to manufacture a thing, all right? To design it, manufacture it, but then to test it, to make sure that it's achieving what you want it to achieve. 22,000 pounds of force, what's that tell you? Well, seeing that it ripped the threads off the silencer mount, basically our welds are probably five times stronger than they need to be. Yeah, so, so it's basically building in a safety factor. You know, we test these things to the extreme limits and we found that limit. That's the limit we were looking for. When it would destroy the mount before the welds fail, that's what you want. And that's how we're able to guarantee your silencer for a lifetime. So how'd this happen? Engineers, an engineering department, and being willing, being willing, <laughs> being willing, call me willing, yeah, and the willingness to put the money back into the company to ensure that as we grow, the quality continues to get better. And you can rely on us, no matter how much Liam screws up. Yeah, this is the silencer in the test. Can you zoom there? See the threads? See the welds? Yeah, so we have a end cap adapter that we can grab onto because we're getting to so much pull force that we couldn't hold it around the silencer. So we had to create that. Anyway, and here's the cherry bomb we got the threads ripped off of. Silence is still straight, the welds are still intact. You can remove the end cap adapter and shoot it. I mean, this, this is another example of why a real company pays engineers and funds that department to show you where you need to improve your products. Continuous improvement in every product. Like quality control is important to us and we're gonna to continue to get better even as we grow. The best customer service I can provide is doing this testing before you get a product. Because you know, the most money I can make is for you to never have to send a product back. And the most satisfied you're gonna be is to never have to send a product back. And that's why.